Good morning, Richland High School. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Wednesday, April 16, 2014. Tomorrow is Blue Day. Lunch menu, turkey and cheese melt on a croissant. Here's what is happening in Ram Nation. Wednesday, April 16th, 4 p.m., gr softball girls varsity at Penn Cambria. 4 p.m., tennis boys varsity versus Bishop Guilfoyle. 4 p.m., track boys varsity at Bishop McCourt. 4 p.m., track boys varsity at Central Cambria. 4 p.m., track boys varsity at Somerset at Westmont Hilltop. 4 p.m., track girls varsity at Bishop McCourt. 4 p.m., track girls varsity at Central Cambria, 4 p.m. track girls varsity at Westmont Hilltop, 4 p.m. volleyball girls junior high at Bishop McCourt, 4.30 boys baseball varsity first Penn Cambria. Student dismissal times are as follows, 1.45 softball to Penn Cambria, 2.30 varsity boys girls track to Westmont, 2.45 junior high volleyball to Bishop McCourt, 2.45 varsity baseball to Highland Park. Attention all students and faculty. All students must report to the theater after lunch today during their homeroom period for a brief meeting on school safety. All teachers are also encouraged to attend as their schedule permits. Full day Thursday. Just a reminder, tomorrow is a full day of school for students. Whiteout. Thursday, April 17th is an anti-bullying whiteout day. Yoga class. This week only the student yoga class will meet today from 310 to 415. Prom ticket sale. Prom tickets are now on sale. Choice of entrees are top round of beef or chicken parmesan. <laughs> Price per person is $40. <laughs> tickets may be pur purchased in the guidance office until April 24th. Summer school information. Summer school information is now available in the guidance office. New sign out policy. Athletes leaving <laughs> events with parents. There is a new policy for, of sign outs for students not riding home with the team after their athletic events. Although its expectation is that the team should travel to and from events together, <laughs> there are instances when circumstances interfere. Beginning immediately, parents may sign out their student with the coach. Notes will no longer need pre-approval to high school main office. Richland After Prom Party tickets. Tickets to the Richland After Prom Party, Candyland, will be on sale from Friday, April 11th to Thursday, May 1st. Tickets purchased after April 25th are not guaranteed a t-shirt. The obstacle course will be here along with the photo booth, dodgeball, life-size twister, cornhole, and can jam tournaments, karaoke, and so much more. There will be prizes given away all night. Great food, too. Remember, though, only those who stay all night are eligible for the grand prizes, so get ready for a fun-filled, substance-free prom night. Any junior or senior may attend whether or not they are attending the prom. Underclassmen may attend only if accompanied by their prom date. Tickets are available in the athletic office for $10 each. This year's Duquesne Fest will be held June 8th where high school students and their families will visit the campus to see what Duquesne has to offer. This is ideal for fall 2014 high school students. Students can register online at www.duke.edu. Duquesne. <laughs> <laughs> French Club clothing orders. Attention all French Club members. All clothing order forms and money are due April 22nd. Also, there will be a mandatory meeting at 7 a.m. in the LGI room on Thursday, April 24th for all members. See Mrs. Kamara if you have any questions. <laughs> National Honor Society Job and Night. The third annual National Honor Society Job and Night will be held May 16th at 7 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. Performers are needed to help make this charity event a success. A success. This can include sin singing, instrumental, poetry, and any sort of act you could see in the coffee house setting. Any student interested in being sponsored a performing at job and night should sign up in Miss Miller's room by the end of this week, Thursday, April 17th. Space is limited. Performers will be accepted on a first come, first serve basis. EHR Summer Employment. East Hills Recreation is looking for students who are interested in summer work to staff their playgrounds this summer. If interested, stop at their office for an application. Dr. Oz's health tip of the day. If you want a fun way to reduce stress, listen to music. Soothing music can reduce your blood pressure and keep you calm. Career announcements. <laughs> when sending your cover letter, use correct spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Have someone else proofread your cover letter, if possible. Be sure that your cover letter is focused on what you can do for the company, not what the company can do for you. Don't overuse the word I in your cover letter. Be clear and brief, but make sure that you have given enough information to interest the employer in your qualifications for the job.
Have a fabulous day. We're here with Mr. Raves. Uh, what, where did you go to college? I went to UPJ. Okay. And what advice would you have for in-going college students? My advice would be that if you take some difficult classes, find some other people that are in those classes and get together in study groups because yeah, you can certainly accomplish much more as a group than you can as an individual. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mr. Ivory. Oh, yes. Good morning. How are you? Uh, we, have a, we, we wanted to know where you went to college. Like where I went to college, like like to graduate and get a degree. Yes. Um, well, when I usually mention my alma mater, people think of beaches and the hurricanes of uh, the University of Miami, and yet Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, Miami University was a university when Florida still belonged to Spain. So Miami University is where I went. Another fellow alumnus is a guy by the name of Ben Roethlisberger. We went to the same college, but not at the same time. Um, the only difference between him and me is um, he was a communications major, I was a microbiology major, and about $7 million a year. Other than that, we're, we're like that close. And do you have any advice for uh, seniors who will be attending college in the fall? Well, you'll hear a lot of advice. One of the things that I found myself doing, and this didn't happen until sophomore year, is it's called teach it to the wall. You find an empty classroom um, where there's not a class in session, and there's a marker board or a chalkboard there, and you take your notes or whatever material you have, and you rewrite that and teach yourself. You teach it to the wall, and you're actually dialoguing, and you're writing, and you're thinking. It's a very multimodal kind of uh, review strategy, and the wall's not going to talk back to you but it, it makes you engage in the content at yet another level in another way. Thank you. All right.